A majority of animal actors are treated with respect and receive a fair payday. But no matter how many precautions are taken, a wild animal should never be trusted. This first incident describes just how unpredictable these furry stars can be. Rocky the Bear was a popular animal actor best known for his role in the movie Semi-Pro with Will Ferrell. Things took a turn for the worse. On April 22, 2008, while filming a promotional video, the bear decided to engage in playful banter with a trainer named Stephen Miller. In a matter of seconds, the bear latched onto the man's neck and began to violently throw him around. Other trainers sprayed the bear and Stephen Miller managed to get loose. Unfortunately, his jugular artery was pierced and he later died from his injuries. Another trainer named Randy, who was Stephen's cousin, was present during the attack and admits he holds no grudge towards the bear. My last memory, without seeing the footage, my last memory is the bear was like, like acting like he was going to lick him or kiss him. And he got close to him and then he went for his neck. And, you know, Stevie just wasn't ready for it. You know, if Stevie was, was ready for it, had his hands up, you know, the animal wouldn't have grabbed him by the neck. I don't, I don't blame him for killing Stevie. I don't think he tried to kill him. So I don't, I don't blame him for that. You know, I, 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 just, I really, you know, believe that it was an accident. Everyone involved understood the dangers of working alongside a wild animal. Rocky the Bear was not euthanized and instead sent to a facility where he had no contact with humans. Viewer discretion is advised for this next story. Travis the Chimp was a famous animal actor that went berserk after being set off by a woman holding his favorite toy. Although the male chimpanzee had been socialized with humans from a young age, no one could have predicted the horrific incident that took place on February 16, 2009. Six years earlier, Travis escaped his owner's car and ran loose on a busy freeway. This incident forced the state of Connecticut to enact the law that requires anyone with a pet primate to have a permit. This law did not apply to Sandra Harold, who was Travis's owner at the time, because she had owned Travis for many years and everyone in town liked the famous animal actor. The 2009 incident began when Travis used a house key to unlock a door. Charla Nash, who was close friends with Sandra Harold, knew Travis ever since he was an infant. She saw Travis outside, then tried to lure him back into the house by using his favorite Elmo toy. Sources claim Nash had changed her hairstyle which may have alarmed the chimp. Travis was also given a Xanax earlier that day which may have caused more aggression. A panicked Travis jumped towards the woman and became hostile. Sandra hit Travis with a shovel to get him to stop but that didn't work. Sandra Harrell stabbed Travis in the back then ran to a car and called 911. The phone call I'm about to play is very disturbing so watch with your own discretion. Oh, this is Sandy. Rock. Rock, Send the police! What's the problem there? The, the, the chip killed my, my friend! What's the problem with your friend? Oh, please! What's the problem with your friend? I need to know. Send the police up! With a gun! With a gun! Hurry you're, you're up! You're off the gun! Please, hurry up! He's killing my girlfriend! What is the problem? He's killing my friend! Who's killing your friend? Oh, your chimpanzee Wait. is killing your friend. Yes. She, he ripped her apart. Hurry up. With a gun. Hurry up, please. There's someone on the way. Officer Frank Chiafari opened fire and shot Travis multiple times after the chimp tried to attack him. Travis made his way back home where he died from his injuries. Charla Nash received injuries that can only be described as gruesome. She was left blind, lost her hands, and received multiple facial reconstruction surgeries. This brave woman overcame a brutal attack and still keeps a positive outlook on life. Number three. Filming with Big Cats. The 1981 movie Roar is about a woman who moves to Africa with her family to meet a scientist that lives with wild animals. This movie is a prime example of dedication to cinema. The actors, crew members, and executive producers, whoever was on set while filming this movie, it had a, a new element of danger that was unheard of. It is considered to be one of the most cursed productions in cinema history. This wasn't surprising because one of the lines that was used was owned by... Anton LaVey, who, if you don't know, 
was the founder of the Church of Satan. At least 70 people were injured while working on the set. Many crew members required stitches from line-related injuries. Over 100 untrained big cats were adopted for the making of this movie. Because of this, most line attacks captured on film were real. This movie includes lions, tigers, leopards, cheetahs, cougars, and jaguars. Check out these death-defying stunts and tell me that these actors don't have balls of steel. Cinematographer Jean de Bont was mauled by a lion on set. Over 120 stitches were needed to sew his scalp back in place. After medical treatment, de Bont returned to the production to complete his director of photography duties. Hats off to that man. He is dedicated. He doesn't care that he was nearly mauled to death by a lion, but he still kept at it. Salute to him. This movie also casted elephant actors, which resulted in more injuries during production. Tippi Hedren fractured a leg during production when an elephant bucked her off its back when she was riding on top. Not only that, she was bent on the back of her head by a lioness called Cherry. She received 38 stitches from this attack. She once said, This was probably one of the most dangerous films that Hollywood has ever seen. It's amazing that no one was killed. 